You're welcome back to the OTB Games Room in partnership with Virgin Media. Bring your A game with 99.9% .9 broadband reliability. Next into the hot seat is all round great Hannah Tyrrell. You name it, Gaelic football with the dubs, rugby with Ireland. She's even played an FAI Cup final. She has done it all. But can she take down the man in FIFA? Can she get to the top of the leaderboard? Remember, the first thing you got to do to get to the top of the leaderboard is win. After that, it goes on goal scored. Okay, I'll take it. So you it. gotta win, firstly. As I say, you're a bit of an all-rounder, so I'd imagine within that busy schedule, you always find plenty of time for FIFA. You're well um, prepared for this. Yeah, I would've played a little bit of FIFA when I was younger, but um, it's been quite a while now, so I'll see how I go, but looking forward to it. But you played for Shamrock Rovers once upon a time. I did in the very first National League. Um, would've played with them back in 2012. Uh, it's a long time ago now, though. Football has changed massively since then, you know, and they've obviously got a, a team going for them here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I can't remember how to shoot. Oh. How do you shoot? Oh, oh you knew we well how to shoot. She knew well <laughs> how to shoot. I'm sure you've been asked it a million times. What is your preferred sport? If you could only, if someone said to you, uh, there's only one. Oh. oh this is outrageous. Oh my uh, God. Sorry, I, I tend oh, to get sorry, very you're too busy in. battering me here um, to talk. I don't know, I started off playing soccer and I, like, I really, really loved that. Um, GAA probably is the one that comes most naturally to me. Um, you know, rugby being very technical, there's a lot of thought that has to go in behind that, but well, GAA is probably like, where I feel at my freest and yeah, enjoy that the most. And when you were growing up, did you play a little bit of everything? Uh, yeah, kind of threw my hand into most sports, did a lot of athletics, um, tried out camogie, basketball, but soccer was the one that I, I loved the most and then played GA when I was about 12 or 13 or so. What position did you play for Rovers? Uh, Rovers, I actually played left back. When I was playing in, uh, with St. Catharines before the National League started, I was actually a striker and then I ended up left back. Um, but I yeah, played left back a little bit um, and I'm kind of playing with a club now, so I'd be a left winger, just a bit of social soccer. A great experience playing the National League and, and the level of it at these days is incredible. Like, you know, yeah, you're I'd in a good position to probably look at how far it has developed then absolutely. over the last decade. You know, and I have lots of friends who are still playing in the league there now and like my friend Sinead Taylor captains uh, Bohemians this year and like even to see Shamrock Rovers have a team again is incredible and um, Shells obviously have been classed the last few years and uh, oh no. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This is it. Oh, oh, goal! What, oh, what a goal. <laughs> How did Off the head of the keeper. Oh, my keeper, I don't know why he didn't use his hands in that instance, to be honest. Oh, magic. I need a little bit of luck. Look I needed that. What a, does he do? I <laughs> needed a little bit of luck, and finally I've got it. Yeah. I suspect you're somebody who's going to be still playing some form of social soccer or masters football <laughs> when you're 60. Yeah, look, I do think, obviously, I'll find it very, very hard to uh, wind down eventually and... Let it go. I still feel like I've a, a lot to give, you know, at any level, whether it's Dublin or club. And yeah, I'll see how that goes. I've been very lucky, obviously, with injuries throughout the years that I haven't had too many major ones, and definitely not any since I've come back to Dublin. Like so, um, as long as I can stay fit and healthy, and the body feels good, and you know, life is good. It's a really good. Stress reliever for me, and it's something I really enjoy. You're not getting top of the leaderboard, though. You need two more goals to get top of the leaderboard. Oh, so, what are the hopes of the new season then? Win the All Ireland. Win an All Ireland is. Oh. But I hope you win the All Ireland because you're not going to win this. <laughs> I won two this game, one. so I'm happy out. 2 1. Behind Devin Toner, behind Eric Donovan, but above Jared Gilroy. I'm actually. Which I won't lie is. No great achievement. No, it's not. And you finished behind Jess Zoo as well. She is a professional footballer. I have no shame in Jess that. Jess is actually on the game. Yeah, I, that's so absolutely fine by me. She should have got bonus points for that. She probably has this Xbox and FIFA and everything, so I'm okay with that. All right, Anna. Uh, I don't think your position on the leaderboard does you full justice. Uh, you probably shouldn't beat me by a lot more than that. Yeah. And, uh, come back in a year's time, we'll see how you get. Absolutely. Now.